Hello, the purpose of this video is to do a quick setup of the Hikvision Dome camera. I am going to power through this video pretty quickly, but I want you to see how fast and easy it is to actually set up one of these cameras. Here's the basic setup. I have my computer plugged into my switch and my camera, and both of them are connected to the internet. Here I have a brand new Dome camera, which I'll be opening up shortly and an internet cable which I'll be using to power the camera from my PoE switch. So very quickly here I'm going to open up the box and take out all of its contents. The manual, the drill template, the wire wrench and the screws. They're protecting cover for the internet cables. Using this ethernet cable to provide power to the camera and also for data. So here is my PoE switch, and I will use port number 9 to plug in the uh, camera. So again, a PoE switch powers the camera and also provides the data to and from the camera. Now that it's plugged in, I just need to supply power to that port by flicking the switch in the front. There we go, it's turned on. As you can see, the camera has power because the little red light inside is illuminated. The protective plastic over the dome needs to be removed before using it so that the image isn't distorted. So next you're going to need to download a couple of applications from the Hikvision website. First of all, Hikvision Tools. Second of all, Hikvision IVMS PC and VR. So go ahead and download and install those applications. It's a good idea to have a separate hard drive dedicated for the videos that you'll be recording with your camera. In this example, I just installed and formatted a brand new hard drive. Next, open up the Hikvision Tools and click on the SADP tab. Here you'll find the camera that you just installed. I have several on my system, but the one I'm going to change is the one I just installed. I want the IP address to be 192.168.0.110 and the default gateway to be the same, which is 192.168.0.1 and the password is 12345. Hit save and should be successful. Next, we're moving to the IVMS PCNVR software. Click on the hard drive which you want to format. It will not delete any of the data, but I have a separate hard drive which I'll be using. Once the format is done, it will let you know that the software needs to be rebooted. Not the computer, just the software. I'm not sure how the software manages the space on the hard drive, but if you go back to Windows Explorer, you'll see that the hard drive is completely filled. When the PC NVR software restarts, enter the wizard. You may do this by going to the help menu and then start wizard if it doesn't already start. Go through the set different steps in the setup and select the hard drive that you want to use and the camera which you want to use. Make sure you enter the password 12345 before continuing to the next step. Next you want to set up your record schedule. So there will be one option and then hit edit. Right now it's set to record consistently all the time. If you click on motion sensor the entire camera screen is selected for motion and make sure to change the record template to motion template. Click OK and click Next. Now it's time to test it out. Open up the PC NVR software and click the main view. Here you have one of your cameras listed in the list of cameras. You can drag and drop that into the screen and you'll see exactly what your camera sees. This is currently nighttime here and the night vision is on. If you go to your playback tab and you click search 
for all cameras there's nothing listed right now because there's nothing recorded so if we go back to the main view I will head downstairs and trigger some motion so the camera camera will start recording You'll notice that down in the bottom left hand corner there's a siren light that's flashing. This indicates that something has triggered one of the cameras. Now it's time to play it back. Select on the camera and then click search and you'll notice an entry will appear. Click on the play button for the entry you want to watch and it will replay what triggered the motion sensor to go off for that camera. There you have it, you've now made your PC into an NVR. I realize this video was quite fast but it includes all the steps required for a basic setup. You can play with the options and fine tune it to exactly how you need yours to work.